of love, feeling safe and completely free from worry or anxiety. Imagine yourself being embraced by this all-pervading, loving consciousness and not knowing anything outside of it. This is the energy of home, the energy you were born from. To understand the feeling tones of this ancient state, think of the consciousness you have when you drift away into sleep, when your mind releases control and your consciousness is very receptive. You also know this state in your earthly lives when you are an embryo in the motherly womb. When consciousness is in this gentle, blissful slumber, there is no clear distinction between inner and outer, no sense of me as opposed to you. In the embryonic, dreamy state of consciousness, there is a boundless sense of oneness and safety. In those ancient times, you as souls felt safe and boundless within in a huge cosmic womb. At a certain point, however, something changed. You experienced a kind of tearing apart. It was as though birthing contractions rippled through your oceanic awareness and awoke you from your slumber. That was the beginning of your birth as individual souls. It is when you broke loose from this ever-present oneness that engulfed you, that you experienced yourself as yourself for the first time. There was a rudimentary sense of I that was initiated in that very moment. The experience of being torn apart, of being separated from the cosmic womb, left you bewildered and disoriented. You were not in a state of knowing when this happened. You were purely in a state of experiencing. You started to blindly search for something to hold on to, a way of returning back to the safety you knew. You felt lost. You felt shut out. It was a moment of darkness. Nonetheless, the moment you tore yourselves free from prime source and left home was at the same time a moment of immense creativity. It was the beginning of a grand journey of experience, of life. Imagine a dark, empty space, strained, vast, and nameless, lying before you. You entered this space as little seedlings. It was a space full of potentiality, full of possible experiences that were as yet unknown. There was darkness, but there was also room for something new. Many of the emotions you had to deal with at the start of your cosmic journey are comparable to the emotions of a lost child that I spoke about last time. They are the emotions of a newborn baby who has to get used to a strange and unfamiliar reality that is utterly different from the semi-conscious slumber state it was in before. The image of the lost child 